uh, in today's session we are going to start with your hierarchical method uh, before going to the hierarchical method in the last session we have seen what are the different methods of uh, clustering and we have seen partitioning uh, method and how to solve a problem uh, using your partitioning uh, method now in today's class we are going to talk about your hierarchical method and your density based clustering now coming up with your hierarchical method what do you mean by hierarchical method the name itself hierarchy is telling us what it's a tree like structure now how a tree like structure is used a tree is nothing but i'll take a simple example of your college in your college how are you what is a tree structure i have a director i have a principal i have staff i have students so this is nothing but a tree structure that is nothing but your hierarchy according to the hierarchy i am drawing a tree now in the same way your hierarchical method has it has it groups the data into trees of cluster that structure of tree is called as dendrogram this dendrogram has sequence of mergers and you all can see here uh, hier uh, hierarchical clustering produces a set of nested clusters organized as a hierarchical tree can be visualized as a dendrogram a tree like di diagram that records a sequence of mergers and splits in this dendrogram we have got two methods the first method is agglo agglomerative uh, method and second one is divisive method your agglo agglomerative method uses your mergers and your divisive method uses your splits Aggl agglomerative method is your bottom up method and your uh, what do you call divisive is your top down approach now first let's start with your aggl see agglomerative method it starts with the points as individual clusters it's a bottom up approach at each step merge the uh, closest pair of clusters until only one cluster left see as i told you it's a bottom up down in the last you can see all the uh alphabets individually when i'm going it to the r it is combined together and finally forming a single cluster that is nothing but your agglomerative method here in your agglomerative method you have three modes one is single linkage next one is your complete linkage and next one is your average linkage when i'm talking about single linkage it takes the minimum values when i'm talking about your complete linkage it uses your maximum values when i am talking about your average linkage it is using your average values now let example see the three modes of your agglomerative method are single linkage minimum values complete linkage maximum values average linkage or average values now you all can see an example here with all the five data or five objects a b c d e and a b c d e in a table now in step 1 what am i doing i am combining a and b together now when i am combining a and b together i am using a single linkage here uh, remember that so in single linkage what did i say i should have a minimum values now when i'm combining a and b when i'm combining a and b a and a in the first table is zero a and b don't have anything but b and a it is two but b and b is zero out of the three what is the minimum zero is the minimum that's the reason i'm writing zero now when i'm talking about c in c what is happening c with respect to a is 6 c with respect to b is 3 now what is minimum 3 is minimum so i'm writing 3 the same thing with d with respect to d with respect to a is 11 d with respect to b is 9 so now what am i taking 9 now e e with respect to a is 9 e with respect to b is 8 so what am i taking 8 so here i'm taking the minimum values in the second step what did i do i have combined three objects here a b c a b c again i'm going to check with the same first table i'm going to write the minimum values now with the same in the third step also so that that is middle as 13 it is third step in the third step what is happening again the same thing is applicable i'm going to check with a b c a b c in the next also i have combined what d and e also in the third step so in d and e when i'm combining again i'm checking with for the least one minimum values then i am drawing it like this so a b c d e this is what i have got clear now when i talk about complete linkage complete linkage is what maximum now when i compare a a comma b with a comma b now what value i should get i should get it as 2 when i am doing it with c with a comma b i should get it as 6 it when d it should get it as 11 when e it should be 9 the same thing when i'll do the average how do i do the average 
See, 0 plus 0 plus 2 by 2. Average is nothing but divided by 2, right? I am doing with, with 2. So, now what is the average? 1. I will be getting it as 1 in A comma B, A comma B. Now, when I am doing it with C, 6 plus 3 by 2. Now, what is 6 plus 3 by 2? 6 plus 3 by 2 is 4.59 by 2. It's 4.5. I will be getting 4.5. Like that, I am going to do the average. This is about your what? Agglomerative method. Next is your divisive method. What happens in divisive method? As I told you, divisive method is a top to bottom method and it uses split. Now, your agglomerative is using what? Merging. It is separate. The elements are separate. It is merging together. But in your divisive, what will happen? All the things, whatever, all the, uh, the data which is together, would be split in separately. That's the reason it is a top to bottom approach or top down approach. See, start with one all inclusive clusters. It is a top down approach. At each step, split a cluster until each cluster contains an individual point. See, you can see here, I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G here that I am splitting up and finally in the last row, I am splitting it everything. This is about your hierarchical method. Next, let's see about your density based clustering. Now, what do you mean by density? The word density, we are hearing it from long time. Density is nothing but your mass by volume is your density. Here, what is happening? Whatever the data objects are there in the cluster, that would be based on the density only. So, here we are going to use an algorithm called as DB scan algorithm. You all can see here, density-based clustering method. DB scan. DB scan stands for what? Density-based spatial clustering of application with noise. It's a density-based algorithm. Here we are going to use two things. One is epsilon and one is minimum point. Epsilon is nothing but here we are going to draw the circle. The radius of the circle is called as your epsilon. The point where we are having the radius is called as epsilon. Minimum points are the points where which are used to find the core points. Now, density is equal to number of points within a specified radius that is epsilon. A point is a core point if it has more than a specified number of points that is your minimum point. Minimum point is number of data points inside that circle is nothing but your minimum point. To remember it easily, the number of data points inside the circle is called as your minimum point within the epsilon. That is nothing but the radius, whatever I told. Here we have, interiorly we have border points, core points and noise points, three things. Border points is fewer than the minimum points within the epsilon, but neighborhood of the core. It can be neighbor of the core point. Noise points are what? They are not the core points, not the border points. They are completely out. That circle would be completely out of that uh, related cluster. You can see an example here. What is a core point is? It should satisfy the condition of minimum points. Border points is it's a neighbor of core point. Noise point is nor core nor boundary. Anything. You all can see the diagrams here. Here my epsilon is 1. Here I have taken minimum points is equal to 4. So, that should satisfy minimum is equal to 4. If it is not satisfying minimum is equal to 4 condition, then it is not satisfying the point. First thing to get the core point is we will check with the center data items. It should satisfy the condition of the minimum point. Then only we can say it as what core point. Otherwise the other points are called as border points. The other points are called as your noise points which are not even related to each other. You all can see here what is noise point, what is border point and what is core point. This is all about your density-based clustering. In today's session, we have learned about hierarchical uh, method and we have learned about your density-based. In your hierarchical, we have seen about your agglomerative uh, method and your uh, divisive method. In your agglomerative, we have seen how to do a single. Then, I, uh, then you are going to do with your complete and your uh, average also. That was a small example I have explained here. The other two, you are going to do it on yourself. Then coming to your density base here, we are going to mainly focus on the density only to make the clusters. So here we have uh, used a concept called as DB scan algorithm. In the DB scan here, we need core points, border points and noise points to find the density of the 
uh, given clusters and minimum points is much minimum point uh, is nothing but the number of data points inside the circle and uh, we have got epsilon epsilon is nothing but the radio of the of the circle which is formed because of that data objects at the center that is your epsilon so this is all about your today's session for ending up this session you can just go through with your db scan algorithm also here what am i doing we are just eliminating the noise points then perform clustering on the remaining points this is if my current cluster label uh, is one then for all core points do this is nothing but your what how to find the db scan like i told you about the epsilon neighborhood and how we are going to get the core point everything for that this is the algorithm we are going to use with this we will be closing this session thank you